Hello and welcome to another special unsourced wall overview. Today we're going to be taking a look at the infamous, iconic Chinese bootlegs of the original NECA Mirage Comics Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which have been around for over a decade at this point. I think the original figures, the legit NECA ones, came out in like 2008 and then it's been like 14 years since then. And these bootlegs first surfaced right around the same time. There's all these uh, rumors and theories that these were made out of the same factory using the same molds, that the molds were stolen at the same time, all these kinds of things. And uh, that's what makes these bootlegs like so, I think, special to the community uh, because, well, the only way to get those original NECA TMNT figures or the variants of those figures, you know, because NECA has created special versions that have accessories and like a four pack in black and white from those molds. Um, it's paid like thousands of dollars. Like I've seen um, each of these go individually for like $300, $500. And then the packs can go up from like $1,500 to $3,000, uh, which is insane. And so if NECA themselves sort of relaunching their Mirage Comics uh, Team and T line with stuff like Future Toy and Renette and also I believe the upcoming Casey Jones uh, from the comics. I, th there's probably more of a premium on getting these now more than ever because if you're a fan of Mirage Comics Team and T and you want to collect the line, the brothers obviously the ones are going to have to get and with NECA not reissuing them at all, in any kind of form, uh, it's either get these knockoffs or pay thousands on thousands of dollars. And honestly, who has the time for that? Now, first of which, these are surprisingly solid uh, figures. Now, I know there's a bunch of reviews saying like they feel a bit gummy, uh, they feel a bit loose and lightweight. You can see that they have a lot of jiggle at the joints there. So it's not the most kind of tight joint system they have. Things can get pretty loose, pretty janky. But because of the designs of the turtles themselves and their stocky bodies, they have a good center of gravity. So they're not going to fall over. They have big, wide feet, a short, stocky chest, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that makes them, you know, pretty decent to pose and to stand around. They're not going to be flopping around like other bootlegs might because uh, of their design. I think it's a pretty nice design. Uh, the other big thing that these figures have working against them is that their weapons are either insanely loose or uh, insanely tight within their hands. Like with Raph, it is an insane hassle to try and get his side and his fingers. Right now you can see that they're barely even in his grip. Uh, the best you can do without uh, like putting a heat gun to his hand for like five minutes and just kind of wedging in there uh, while it's still kind of um, flexible and gummy is just to get the littlest bit of grip. It doesn't go any further than that, and that's a shame, but you can still get him to do some angles. It, it's not the worst effect. Uh, but others, like Mikey, his nunchucks, he can't grip his nunchucks at all, and uh, these bootlegs come with the nunchucks uh, tied together with um, a metal string. So it's best to just keep those tied up and then to wedge both into his hands so it just looks like he's doing it like this. Otherwise, they'll just slide right through his fingers uh, and yeah, that's not good for anyone. And the same goes for Leonardo. If this weren't for the second hand gripping the top of his blade, the blade's handle would just slide right through, only being stopped by the hilt. Uh, so you get both hands gripping on and it looks great front-wise. Uh, it's just so that it makes it look like he actually has a nice firm grip on it. Uh, Donatello, it's not really anything bad. It's just a staff and he has a good grip on it with both hands. He, even with one hand, he has a good grip on it. The main thing about Donatello that everyone kind of notes off the bat is that he has a really dark purple, like deep violet bandana that in most lighting looks insanely black. Uh, so I feel like you could probably customize that, get like a lighter shade of purple and like just mask off the eyes and the rest of the face and just kind of do your own thing um, to get that to look good because it does stand out in dark lighting. Like I'm filming this on a really sunny day. And so it looks just like a really dark purple, but in most other light conditions, it looks completely pitch black. And that's, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but these are really fun figures. And one thing about them is that even though they're bootlegs, uh, they're still readily available. Like these are still either being made. Um, it's like bootleggers still have like the molds that they use, um, or that they made so much at the time that they were being made 
that they haven't run out of stock because you can find these so quickly. You can buy these wholesale. There are uh, websites where you can buy wholesale bundles of these figures for to resell yourself, uh, which is insane. Uh, but they're a bit out of the way. I think the first place you would probably look for is like on eBay or Mercari. And you can find them on there, but they go for twice as much to maybe like three times as much as you will to find them anywhere else because I'll, even these because the Mirage comic style NECA TMNT figures are so desired so sought after that even the bootlegs go at exorbitant prices I've seen like one of these individually uh, go for like $150 uh, again a fraction of what the legit ones go by but still a pretty penny uh, so the best way to find these and the way I found them through some searching is to go to your, your standard well-known uh, Chinese bootleg sites like wish.com or AliExpress or Alibaba. Um, and you can find uh, this pack I got, I was able to get for 60 bucks. That's including shipping and everything. Uh, that's $15 each. And for something that works just as well, obviously, you know, some joint jank. I'm not saying that there's something that like, there's not things to be desired here. 15 bucks is a steal. Like even for these as bootlegs, 15 bucks is a steal. Uh, of course, you have to buy them in packs. There's uh, the wholesale packs, which are like, I think like a hundred pack uh, variations of these, or you can buy like just a four figure pack and you can you have to buy all four at the same time. So uh, that's the only downside. If you just want like one in particular, you're gonna have to grin and bear it. Uh, and also the big thing about these is that these are the color variants, which are exclusive to the bootleg versions of these figures uh, there's also bootleg all red bandana versions most sellers will have the option to choose which four pack you want because there's so many of these uh, they have that uh, they have that option uh, and so yeah like I said uh, wish.com Alibaba Aliexpress they won't a lot of times they won't be listed as NECA TMNT Mirage they'll be like Ninja Turtle Turtle Ninja Teenage Ninja Mutant Ninja that kind of stuff a lot of times they won't have the entire uh, brand name on there. Uh, so you have to do some scrounging, but they're there. They'll, you'll find them. And at around 60 bucks ish, uh, they're well worth it. But there is one thing I want to mention, which is uh, the Raphael, which might cause some trouble. Now, we have the Leonardo Donatello and Michelangelo in the color variants. Um, now, each of those are molded to their specific NECA face, and that's easy enough, especially with the color variant. Um, they seem to have cast those in that color so that you won't have any mix-ups. So Raphael, he caused me a little trouble because this isn't the head that came with the bootleg Raphael I originally got. Uh, this one I had to find on eBay, just the head I had to find on eBay. The face that originally came with my bootleg uh, Raphael was this one, which is the red bandana Michelangelo head and so what I think happened is that even though I ordered the uh, four color pack the seller who was you know uh, shipping these from China what what had happened was that they had found like of course uh, Leonardo is blue Donatello is purple Michelangelo is um, orange but because they have both Raphael who is the red bandana and also they're selling the entire red bandana set of all four turtles they just picked whatever red one they had um because a lot of sellers will be selling both packs and it seems to be like they just oh the red one they just picked the random red one which happened to be red version michelangelo uh and sent that to me instead of a regular um raphael and so that was honestly pretty uh disappointing thankfully i was able to find someone selling a raphael a bootleg Raphael, really cheap. Like I said, these go for like 100 bucks, 150 bucks each. But thankfully, the Raphael they were selling didn't have any accessories, uh, was a bit more worn out. Uh, so I was able to get that one and then swap the head. So thankfully, that was able to work out. But that's something to think about if you want to get these bootlegs, especially if you want to get the um, four color pack. Now, I'm not sure if that will happen if you get the uh, all red pack. There might be a thing where you end up with like two Leonardo's and two Donatello's or all Leonardo or something like that. So that's something to think about, honestly. Hopefully this is just unique to me and that's not something that'll happen to you if you get these. Uh, but yeah, these are so great. Uh, I really enjoy them. 
And uh, again, the main reason I got these was because uh, NECA is restarting their uh, Mirage comics line. I'm not really going to get all the Mirage comic uh, NECA figures. Like, I'm not going to get Future Toy de Renee, but I am definitely going to get um, Casey Jones because that's one of my favorite Mirage comics characters, uh, versions of the character at all, ever, honestly. And so it'll be awesome to pose him with the Mirage comics uh, Raphael. And so that's why, like, I just was so disappointed that I got this goofy looking one first. Uh, you know, goofy in that it's Michelangelo. Uh, so I can't wait to do that. I just wish that NECA would re release some of the older figures. Like, there are old figures in this line from, like, again, like 12, 14 years ago that are now so out of print and they're restarting this line. So just remold those and relaunch those as well. Re-release those. Let's, let's get like a regular standard release shredder who only came out. It's like this San Diego Comic-Con four pack with, that's now going for like $3,000 alone. Like that's insane. And the only time that they've ever re-released shredder was in this special color edition. That's all blue. Like that's ridiculous to me. And I just, I find it so insane. And not to mention the Mirage Comics April O'Neil. Like, you can't find that at all. So just, you know, recasting those would be great. There are rumors that NECA will re-release um, the Mirage uh, Team NT. And there's a couple of things I want to mention about that as well. The first being that if they release the same molds, then you're still paying out the ass because um, NECA figures go for like 35 to 45 bucks. So if they release the same molds, then what's going to happen is that you're going to be paying three times as much per figure than you would for the bootleg versions, which are just as good. But there's also another uh, camp of rumors that says that the new NECA figures for the TMNT, if it happens, will be based more on the Jim Lawson design from like the second half of the original Mirage comics, which, you know, is a cool design. Like, I don't, I don't want to knock Jim Lawson, but they're not the first designs that come to mind, at least for me, when you think of Mirage comics TMNT. If they do come out, I'm glad that anyone who doesn't know how to navigate this or who wants like the the legit like factory pressing NECA branded moldings of these gets them. Uh, but for now, uh, these are really great. And for the cost, amazing. Uh, two thumbs up. Uh, 10 out of 10. Um, I wish they held on to some of their weapons better. But you know what? Uh, they look pretty fantastic. And I can't wait to get like the Casey Jones and stuff to complete this set and fingers crossed for a shredder. I know I said that, you know, paying out the ass for um, legit NECA figures is not the way to go, at least in my opinion. But given that there's no bootleg Mirage comic shredder, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be one I'm going to get day one. Anyway, thanks so much for listening. Have you thought about getting the uh, NECA Mirage Comics Team NT bootlegs? Have you got any? Did you get the all red versions or the uh, multicolor versions? If so, were there any issues like the ones I had? And if you haven't yet, um, let me know your thoughts in general or below as well. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks so much for listening, and see you again next time.